<laughs> All right, my friends, here I am. I find myself out on the open sea today. I think there's a shark coming after me right over there. There's a, there's a monster right there. I think there's some kind of a creature. But we'll make it if, if I just, just hang in there. Isn't this world crazy lately? Boom, blows your mind. Hope you're all prayed up. This could be the end. <laughs> Until then, let's do a Revit tip. Okay, so check this out. Today's Revit tip is about rotating project, not project, true north in your projects, okay? It is important to know which way north is on your projects, okay? And to orient your buildings when, you, when you're in design, you if you don't have extreme site constraints, it may be a good idea to orient your building, to take advantage of some of that natural lighting or to turn it so that you can block certain um, prevailing winds from affecting the climate of your site. So anyway, <clears throat> you know, the microclimate. There's other reasons you should know where North is. Um, let's say you're doing a lead project and you need to certify this building and you'll, you're gonna need to know which side is North, South, East, West, so that you can get um, your window um, openings oriented to the right side. I mean, there's, there's lots of reasons. Uh, let's just say you're working collaboratively on a site, on a project that's got multiple buildings and they're not going to be all stacked exactly. Some are going to be right big this angle and this some are this angle and some are over here, depending on the roads that you're dealing with and you're aligning with. So north matters. And I'm going to show you guys how to set north, true north in your project right now. So what I'm going to do is share my screen and I'm going to bring my face over here so you guys can see me because I'm so important. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. What I'm talking about now is north. Now, if let's just take a look at this project. Here's our little building. And if I orient this thing to the top view, okay, take a look. The shadow is coming downward and the sun is somewhere in the top left. That is like default in Revit, okay? That's not, your shadows don't go that way, okay? If you are, unless your north is down here somewhere and this is nine o'clock in the morning, okay? Or wait, yes, yes, I think. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, it's default on most of your plans um, your site plan, like I can go to my site plan here, mm -hmm, site plan. And if I wanted to turn on, let me just turn on my, what do you call them? Shadows. I'm going to go to shadows and turn on shadows. Okay. Sure enough. Would you look at that there? It's the default that comes with Revit shining from the top left. Okay. I'm just saying. If you need to tell your project where true north is, you need to know where true north is because you can't tell Revit something that you don't know. <laughs> go figure. Okay. So what you do is you go get your plat plan or your um, something from the civil engineer and get some information from them to exactly where true north is on your project okay because i know it makes sense let's go to the first floor plan for a second it makes sense friends to have your projects oriented orthogonally on the sheets because if they're at some whacked angle it's hard to get your dimensions and your notes and everything to work so typically in architecture we orient the building north south east west we keep it orthogonal and that's called project north is up that's just the that's just what we call it okay project north is up typically so that our building fits on sheets that's the only explanation for it okay so true north is something different project north true north so we're going to rotate true north so i'm going to go back to our site plan now, <clears throat> here we are, and this 
thing, this project thinks that north is up here. Let me, in fact, look at this model text. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, north. It, I'm going to go caps. Okay. North. It thinks north is here. Bam. Beautiful. It even casts a shadow. And south. Okay. The project thinks that south is down here. And modern model text. Um, east, east. 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 East would be on this side, right? And last one, west. You guessed it. Ha <laughs> ha. Prog. Elimination, right? Okay. <clears throat> so here we go. This is what Revit thinks it is. But I'm going to draw. Let's just say I got information from my um, structural engineer. Not structural. He's not going to know diddly. Just kidding, all you structural engineers. You care about structure and weight and balances and cantilevers and all kinds of cool analytical um, weights. And, and Anyway, you don't know diddly about true north. I'm <laughs> just saying. Okay, anyway. The, the civil engineer knows where north is. Get this information. I am, let's just say I got the information from him and I'm going to close my eyes. I'm just going to, I'm going to, okay, I, I click there. I'm just going to draw. Uh, that's too horizontal. All right. Let's just say he told me that way, okay? That way over there. That is true north. Okay, I got the information from him and he says it's way over there well if that's true north then this side of the building is the north side so the true north north's over here right and west is going to be down here and south is going to be over there and east is going to be up there see things change but the shadows didn't so we need to tell Revit where true north really is so that our shadows work perfectly. And then when we do shared coordinates and all with other projects, bap, 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 all the shadows work on all the different buildings. Boom, go figure, huh? Okay. See, it gets bigger and better as you consider things in Revit. So without further ado, I am going to come over here, okay? Here's how you rotate true north. You click on uh, one of these buttons at the top. Oh, manage. That would be the one. Manage. And then right here in the middle under project location, there's a button called position. And the drop down, and we're looking for right here, rotate true north. Go figure. They have a button for it. So I'm going to click it. Now, here's how you do it. What happens? That a dialog box pops up. And it says, dude, your view is not ready to be oriented correctly. You need to set the view to true north so that you can rotate true north. Okay, I understand that now. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're gonna, you guys are, you guys are gonna get this, um, what do you call it? Dialog box. Okay, close. So what you do is you look over here, friends. Okay, I'm going to, let me just set my, um, Turn, I'm, gonna, I'm turning off my view template so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I look over here in my properties box for this site plan, and I look down under graphics. There's a there's a line item called orientation, and it says I'm set to project north. Okay, what I do is on the drop down, I change that to true north. Okay, nothing changed because currently in a default project, true north and project north are the same. But I'm about to change that, or we're about to change it, you and me, okay? So let's do this together. Let's go back and click that button. Manage, under project location, we click on position, rotate true north. And we don't get that nasty button. But here's what we got. This thing suggests the middle of my project to rotate by. And I say, I don't think so. It makes more sense to go up here to the top and click the center of rotation, we're going to place it. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to place the center of rotation at this end of my north arrow. Okay. Now the angle is like okay, down like this and it needs to be up. True north is over there, but it needs on this view needs to be up north. It makes sense, right? So you click on when, when you put your center of rotation at the end, you click now on your north arrow, 
and then you come up and don't even worry about the angle just click when it's it'll snap when it's vertical bam okay and what it just did is it rotated your entire project so that this north arrow is correct. It is pointing up, okay? And so you'll see north is up. Would you look at that? East, west, south, it's fixed. But we don't have to leave the project here, okay? We can turn the project. Let, let me just fix it. The, you look, you see his shadows are coming in from the northwest. That's bogus, okay? I'm going to fix that right now. I'm first, I'm going to go over here. Orientation, I'm going to set my project back to Project North. It orients it back to Project North, friends, but we have fixed the true north. So the shadow is, this is just top left. And so here's, here's how you set your shadows. I'm just going to do that for you too, okay? Over here, what we're going to do is click on the um, graphic display options, okay? And what comes up is this dialog. We're gonna go down to <laughs> lighting. Expand lighting and in session lighting, most of the time, this is the button we wanna click, sun settings. Most of the time when you click that, it's just 200 degrees at 10 degrees altitude, okay? That, what's that? That means top left, basically. So here's what we're gonna do. You click on the word still over here, solar study. We're gonna click on still. And we pick somewhere in the world. It's set currently on Norfolk, Virginia, but you can click on that and say, dude, um, how about somewhere like, I don't know, how about Boulder Co. And I'm just hoping, search. Okay, ah, it gives you a little pop up here for Boulder, Colorado, okay? And I'm gonna click on Boulder, Colorado. So what it, and say, okay. So what it did is it set this project in Boulder, Colorado, and there's today's date on it. And let's just take the, uh, the time up to 1.30. And I'm gonna say, apply, okay, okay. So look, that, my friends, is the true shadow for 130 at in Boulder, Colorado. That's where my project is. So I'm telling you, even when we go to 3D, the shadows here, <gasps> would you look at that? They're going the wrong direction. Oh no. Okay, so here's what I do. I go over to my sun settings for this project. I mean, for this um, view. Okay. And um, <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, wait for it, graphic display options, and lighting, of course, it's, wait for it, people. Okay, I'm just going to turn into none for a second. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> graphic display options, under lighting, in, I'm going to set it to still, it's in Boulder, Colorado, today, and I can set the time, bam, bam, and say, okay, and would you look at that? Boom! Success. So you can get shadows correct for your buildings, but more importantly, the orientation for your different um, solar studies and lighting studies, and even for your mechanical systems and um, the the different. Um, for your um, energy studies. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. For the energy studies for this particular building. Now that you are oriented correctly and you have true north set correctly, okay, we can make it and it will give you the opportunity to have correct information from your studies now and not just guessing. Okay. <clears throat> Those um those different um, studies are important when you're going up for lead points and when you're going, um, you're trying to coordinate with other people. All right. Anyway, that's how you rotate true north. And I went ahead and threw in how to set your shadows correctly on your plans. That was free. All right. You guys have a fantastic day. 
happy reveting and uh and have a all right i'll talk to you guys later <laughs>